When you have a specific device or a group of devices that you want to control, what you need to do is select that device from the list. On the right, the remote control field will highlight. Here we can do things like control the volume, power the device off, restart it, switch inputs, lock or unlock it, allow uninstalling of unknown apps, or schedule firmware updates. You'll also notice that there's the ability to add a default Wi-Fi SSID. You'll notice that schedule startup and shutdown is grayed out. That is because this is a manager advanced feature. So in order to use this feature, one, you need to purchase manager advanced licenses, and then two, assign a manager advanced license to this device. We'll cover how to do those things in later videos. If you want to edit any device at any time, simply double click it, and that will take you into more details. Here we can rename the device, add asset tag information, switch to a specific group, or add additional notes. You also get additional information about the device specifically, such as what Wi-Fi it's on, MAC address, firmware version, and other statistics such as uptime, boot time, and the last time it was connected. Anytime you need to go back, press the back button here in the top left, and it will take you back to your list view of all your devices. Notice that on the home screen, you'll see additional information like status, gray means offline, green means online, as well as connected information, IP address, and any notes you might have added.